Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I've been a little MIA lately, but that's only because I was moving. So as you can see, I have a new background. Yeah, just a pink wall. Yeah, I was moving, so I really didn't. I had everything packed up and I couldn't film videos. So yeah, that is why I didn't hear from me in like a month. But things finally back to normal, and I could film as normal. So I expect more videos coming up in February. Okay, so today we are going to be doing my fine soaps update. Well, I finished both of the soaps I was using. That was the turmeric and oatmeal one. And the um, the next one was the coffee. Yeah, a kind of coffee scrub one. It was coffee and something. Coffee and cold pressed coconut oil, yes. Okay, so first I'm going to start with the coffee and coconut pressed oil one. I finished that one first because I was using that one for my whole body. And I... I really think that one did a great job. I don't know, it's like the coffee make it like a really kind of exfoliating kind of so. So yeah, so I think that actually aided in a lot of like my body scars and like stuff like that. Clearing up a little and stretch marks and all that cleared up a little. And I think that was mostly because of the coffee in it, like the kind of exfoliating aspect of the coffee. And I don't really know if that is like, I think that's make like blood rise to the surface and regenerate cells. And I'm not too sure, but yeah, that one like really worked really good. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend that one for my face. Or I personally wouldn't use it for my face. I feel like the, the same exfoliating coffee scrub part of it would be too harsh on you know, on your sensitive, sensitive skin on your face. So I wouldn't recommend using that one for your face. Yeah. Because you, re you don't really want to put anything like harsh scrubbing on your face. So yeah, so that but that one was really good for my body. I'm uh, most likely going to buy back in that one. That one was really good. And the two American oats one, I used that one mostly on my face. And then when my coffee one, then I started using that one on my body as well. So y'all can see my face. Alright, I have a few breakouts happening right now, but that's nothing that's normal. Like yeah, I have a few breakouts. But in terms of like clearing up acne scars and stuff like that. And, there, and like hyperpigmentation and so stuff and I'm not really sure if like I'm noticing like a noticeable difference because like I still have like these scars and stuff here yeah I'm not really sure I'm noticing a noticeable difference in like clearing up our scars and stuff like that on the face but yeah if it's one thing I could say though about that stuff is it made my face really really soft like I noticed that like my face is really really soft and smooth like I don't know if it was like a combination of all the products I was using, if it was specifically that soap alone. But yeah, my face is really soft and smooth right now. So yeah. Yeah. Y'all let me know if y'all seen like a noticeable difference from the video where I first used it or not. But I don't really think I seen too noticeable a difference on my face, not like how it was from my body where like I noticed that like scars fade and all of that. So yeah. Okay, so final thoughts on the soaps. I will definitely continue to buy from the brand. I mean, $8 for a soap is pretty affordable. So yeah, I will continue to buy from the brand. I'll try out some of the different soaps and stuff like that, but I really like the coffee and coconut oil one as like a body exfoliating scrub. Yeah, I really like that one. But I'll try out different ones on my face and let y'all know what really works for me. And I didn't really expect it to like clear up my face a whole ton because I know like skincare does should take long. If I just expect instant results. So I'll try. I might buy back that same one and keep on going to. I'll try different ones and see. You know what is the same with that. But this is my face right now. Y'all let me know if all you see any noticeable difference. You know. You know I'm looking like I, if I'm looking like you know I'm glowing. If the soap give my glow. So yeah y'all let me know what all you think. And that is my my final thoughts on the fine soaps soaps yeah okay so expect more consistent videos from now on i will see y'all next time bye yeah and if you have any ideas or any specific videos you want to see related to skincare or basically anything beauty related you can let me know you know give us some ideas some content but yeah so just let me know what you guys want to see cuz yeah 
Okay. <laughs> yeah, you all could continue to give me your um skincare suggestions in the comment section below and let me know if you have anything you want me to buy and review or anything like that. And I try to be more focused on like local skincare because you know it'd be more easy to get and stuff. So you all let me know if you have any specific brands you want me to try out, I'll totally, you know, spend my money and try them out if I have money. Yeah. Because I really want to get into this whole skincare thing. Like, my skin needs to be, you know, good. Yeah. Because, you know, skin is, like, very important. Yeah, skin is very important. So, let me know all your recommendations in the comment section below. Okay, guys. So, I just come back to add this in disclaimer. So, I just watched the first video. My first, imp first impressions video. And my skin... And I real looking worse, like, but like not because of the soap, like my skin just looking sad, yeah. But that is due to like lack of sleep and stress and so that that have nothing to do with the soap. You all just like you know, right here. Yeah. It has nothing to do with the soap. That is my own skin, and what I put in the tube, right? That have nothing to do with the soap. Just a disclaimer, putting it out there, just like you know, yeah. Things things are rough right now. <laughs> 